Do you know what I like to do when the stock market's plummeting? I like to look at some baseball cards. Yep, so the stock market is plummeting. And, uh, you know, I'm a bottom feeder. So, might not be able to buy too many cards for a while. Because, uh, you know, I haven't been buying uh, with the prices the way they've been. So, there are some great opportunities that present themselves during collapses. It's like buying a Hank Aaron rookie card for 500 bucks and a Mike Trout update for 50 bucks. Uh, everything goes on sale. They throw the proverbial baby out with the bathwater. So, uh, you know, I'm a dividend investor. I like, to, uh, I like to get income. And right now the yields are really jumping high. So anyway, that's going to put a little damper on my card spending for a while, I think. But fortunately... I have enough stuff laying around that I have plenty to show. <laughs> so, I want to show you a bunch of different things now. Let's take a look. First, I have these two awesome Hostess. Uh, these are like proof cards. I got a John Candelaria. And I got a Gaylord Perry. And you can see there's little marks from, you know, the proof sheet on there. Where they were cut. They're blank back. Love me some Hostess cards. I got this uh, Earl Grace from the Diamond Stars set, which I've shown before. I just love that set. Very artistic cards. And we have a Hank Bowery Bowman card. Here's a 33 Gaudi Al Simmons. Here's a Vladimir Guerrero rookie. And this guy, Harry Moto, it's a Japanese card. And he is the only Japanese player ever to amass 3,000 hits. With the card prices the way they've been, I've kind of been building up my Japanese collection. Don't feel like spending the money for some of these cards today. And we got this great basketball card. I love this set. And we got a 86 Roger Craig. He doesn't get enough hobby love either. Here's a uh, 7-Eleven cup of Franco Harris. They issued these, I believe, in 72 and 73. Now, he was drafted in 72, so I'm assuming, I think this was probably the 73 one. They probably didn't include him on the 72. I'm just guessing. I don't know all that much about these, although I have a whole bunch. And here we have a 1961 new card. Ernie Davis, along with the rapper from that set. Man, it would have been nice to have been able to know what he would have become in the NFL, huh? And I've been going through uh, my 2018 baseball cards just to see what I have with the uh, Soto and Acuna. Um, getting so much attention and I found a whole bunch of them. I'll show you some highlights. So I got the Soto there. Had a couple of Cunhas. Those are the holidays and then I had a couple Chromes. And I have uh, this Soto. Guess it's a refractor. And I also have this version that's numbered. And 
and a Bowman, uh, Bowman Chrome Acuna. And I got this Soto. And I picked these up because I love the pose. I got them in the tops too. And, you know, I'm an Otani fan, so I have a bunch of Otanis here. That's my favorite uh, from the Chrome. There's the regular tops. And here's the third pose, batting. I guess they have a Chrome version of this, I'm assuming. I don't have that one. And this is a cool looking card. I like it. I know a lot of people don't like the uh, Donruss and the Optic because they don't have the logo, but I like that one. And I found a Kyle Tucker autograph rookie that I didn't even know I had. I think that's a rookie. At any rate, it's an autograph. And I got some tops here. More of those. And this cool pose. I have several of these. And I have two of these Acunas. So, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.